Hey YouTube, my name is Kayla. I go by Sunny B. Today I want to talk about a couple of different theories about time that just sort of made sense to me um, and really have reformed the way that I think about it. So my first theory about time is that we only have the present. Now these next these two theories that I'm going to say right now are going to sort of negate each other a little bit, but I think you'll understand why I, why I say both of them. So one of them is that time is not necessarily moving forward. We don't have any laws of physics saying that time necessarily has to be moving forward. If you do subscribe to the ideology that time is moving forward, then you do have to logically believe that we only have the present. So the past is gone. The future is not guaranteed. So therefore, we only have the present. I wanted to talk about that because I've heard that time is not real a couple of different times in life. And I just didn't understand what people were talking about when they would say that. I really thought that was like a crazy thing to believe. Um, and I don't think it's a crazy thing to believe. I think it's a stretch the way that people say, You tried it! That it's not real. It's just that it's not what we think it is. Or it's not necessarily what we think it is. It could be exactly what we, what we think is going on. But we just don't know for certain. Because we don't, we haven't been able to, we haven't, so far proven that time is moving forward <laughs> anything can happen so therefore both of those theories are very they ring true to me somehow at the same time i don't know whatever or some maybe i just keep them in the back of my mind whatever but also i want to talk about terrence mckenna's views on time um he doesn't necessarily talk about time. The video that I saw that kind of um, motivated me to even think about time um, was a video by After School called The Next Phase of Human Existence. And it has some of Terrence McKenna's audio um, because he's an author. So he has a couple of audio books and stuff. I don't know if they got it from a book or where they got it from. It just, it moved me. So McKenna explained his ideology by talking about birth. So we started off in the womb as like the size of a seed or something. Like we were like very little. Um, we had plenty of space to move freely. We were getting the things that we need just directly to us. Um, life was great. And then all of a sudden he says the wall started closing in. Things got to be tight we didn't have as much space as we used to have because now we're growing we're getting bigger and eventually we get so big that we have to be moved out even if it weren't for size we would have to move out of that body regardless otherwise toxemia was set in the place would start to be really bad so eventually we get to a point where we've used up everything that we can use in that space and it the healthiest thing for us to do is move on to the next phase. The next phase means birth. As a baby, we don't have any sort of artificial knowledge to tell us what's going on and to assure us that everything is going to be okay. So we get pushed out of the birth canal and we, we don't know it, but we're never going back into the birth canal. And it's scary. We're in this new place. We're seeing new people and new things. And it's scary for us to, so much to the point that all we can do is scream. <laughs> Basically, that same process that happened in the womb is happening over and over and over again, but in different ways throughout our lives. I really felt where he was coming from because I've, I've grown out of things before. I think we all have grown out of things before. And it's scary. It feels like being reborn all over again, like when all we could do was scream, but now we have to assure ourselves that we're going to be okay. Even Janae Aiko kind of had a, um, I always say Aiko, even Janae Aiko 
had a um, quote about it. She was like, life only gets harder, so you got to get stronger. And that's real shit. Like, we just move on to do more and more and more by ourselves. But, anyway, my point is that nothing lasts. And... Nothing lasts. I feel like I've gotten to see this in so many different ways. And I kind of already... I've gotten to see this so many different times over and over again. Like death and rebirth. Like growth and outgrowth. And I feel like I just sort of needed a reminder or something. Because sometimes I kind of forget that things are not going to last. I feel like a lot of the time we try to clutch on to what is now yeah so i feel like a lot of the time we try to clutch on to what we have in the moment because we we get comfortable with things um but in reality no matter how comfortable you are with something you're gonna eventually have to give that up um i haven't seen anything yet in life that i feel like oh that's gonna be with me to the end of my life like you might outlive that thing. Yeah, like I feel like I feel like a time for me that I realized this was when I went away to school. I went I left St. Louis and I went away to school in a small town in Missouri. I really went to the school that gave me the best award package, but that wasn't a good idea. Don't do that. I didn't like it when I got there. I did not like I went to Northwest Missouri State University. I did not like the school. And I ended up coming back after one semester. Although I did very well in that semester, I rushed back to St. Louis because it just, it wasn't the same. Um, I feel like I expected for, I expected not away County, Missouri to be similar to STL. And then I left not away County and I expected St. Louis to be similar to St. Louis as I knew it before I left off. For college and everything was different then like I was just kind of squeezed out of a lot of the spaces and places that I thought um, that I would return for comfort like when I think back on it it kind of reminds me of that video just because he decided to use the womb like it just represented growth like I, I grew out of those spaces and I feel like now every time when I try to go back to a place it's, it's something different and I've just sort of learned to accept it. We try to recycle to cling on to what we have. We try to eat healthy and work out to preserve our body. But eventually even the people that ate the healthiest and worked out the most or the most efficiently are still going to die. We're all going to die. That's not to say that you shouldn't eat healthy and work out because maybe you can slow down the process of atrophy and cell death or whatever happens to us but um eventually we all come to an end and we don't 100 percent know what's coming after this we try to prepare ourselves by holding on to morals and values and whatnot but to be honest nobody knows with 100 percent certainty that's on that's a human being on this earth nobody knows with 100 percent certainty what's happening next so we have faith in whatever belief system we subscribe to, but we, we just don't know. I'm trying to sort of get in a space where I'm okay with constantly evolving. I feel like, I feel like for the most part I'm okay with it, but I still cling in some ways. Like, I cling. I cling but my point is nothing lasts forever and we gotta be comfortable with growing out of things if you're still watching at this point drop an emoji that describes how you felt when you first learned about heaven and hell